Hey folks, it's Rod. Uh, it's a Thursday. You know what Thursday means? It means I have shipments to go out and, you know, for the business, not e eBay necessarily. I'm just going through turn on lights as I spin around. Hopefully I don't make you sick. May focus on my big fat head. But uh, the other thing kind of exciting, our garage cell section which I'll show you here in just a minute as soon as I get the lights turned on. It's doing okay. I advertised it on Craigslist for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You can only put three days on there. So I'll just update it to include Saturday now that Wednesday is over. Yesterday I had a few people stop in and let them have the deals that they could find. And basically everything on our shelves is a dollar that we have set up for the garage sale. And I'll kind of show you the types of things we have, with the exception of books and Christmas or holiday. Those are going to be two for a buck. And I think that we have a pretty good selection of items that's well worth the money. I'll kind of show you what we got. So now I'm going to go and get all my customers that have requested shipping. And I'll update you with that as, we, as I get that stuff pulled. I'll see if you... Hey folks, it's Rod here. I am heading to auction. Man, what a day. Last night, we logged into the system, or auction software, and found that there was over 100 listings for our new catalog that's coming out tonight that were not showing up. It was pretty late by the time I tried calling, and if it's not an auction emergency, it's, we can be subject to uh, fees for using the after hours emergency help desk. So I waited until this morning. I still call them outside under normal business hours just to make sure because I thought, well, maybe that's just something down with the cloud because we do use the cloud service. And unbeknownst to us, I don't know where we missed the notification or communication from the software company, but there was a scheduled outage where they were transferring everybody over to a new cloud server and I talked to him this morning and I was like you know uh, we still don't have pictures it was later in the day but she's like well it could take there it, it the images are the take the longest to move over and uh, it could be today or as late as tomorrow morning before all the images are moved over. And I just, I basically told him, you know, this is kind of frustrating because my, our auction launches tonight. And if I can't launch an auction with um, images, then y'all are costing me money. I understand there's nothing you can do. I mean, it was just the help desk phone answer person rep. And uh, I think she said some confusion. Probably about an hour later, I got a call back from another employee there, probably somebody in the IT department, that said all my images were moved over and we would be ready for launch. So kudos to them. I appreciate the, uh, the speed of getting our images moved over so we could have a successful launch today. Uh, I kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of think in that situation you should be able to cut the data over. If you have a, um, if you have auctions launching today, don't cut them over until tomorrow. And they should be able to pull that information from the cloud. Give me all that auction. Of course, I don't know how their back end works. But I know data. You can you can move portions of data over. You know, there's there's risk involved with that. I understand. But my fear was um, this is one of the long largest catalogs we've launched in a while. I have right now. I think I have 432 lots, which is up from where we we were running for a while, anywhere from 320 to 350 items. Our goal was always 350, 
but we surpassed that by almost 182 listings. We surpassed our goal. And it's really um, trying to justify getting an employee, wanting to make sure that, you know, if we can increase our lots, and increase the size of our catalog, will that pay for another employee and then still work on increasing profit? Just sitting at the 300 to 350 range, we really, you know, it's, it, it's, it was really at the break even point. We weren't losing money, uh, but we weren't really making a lot either. So that's the name of the game, trying to grow it out and finding uh, how to do that. Also looking at getting some, some more wholesale or liquidation. That's, uh, you know, I, I, if you've watched any of my older videos, you know that I've tried that before. Success on some lack of, oh, excuse me, lack of success on others. Uh, there are companies that I would try. There's companies I would. Uh, so right now we're looking at the B2B or not B2B. Uh, dang, I forgot the name of it. There's a site that. It's pretty much, I think, just a portal for uh, liquidation auctions. And we're looking at that. The One of the main things about this site is these companies are trying to get rid of uh, a lot of items. So when you're talking truckloads of stuff, the majority of them that I saw, there were, there were case lots and single or double pallets. The, most part it is uh, 17 pallets or 21 pallets and that's just something volume that we can't handle right now so I'm heading to auction tonight looking to buy quite a bit hopefully maybe I'll be able to do a haul tomorrow and uh, I'm sorry I'm, a, I'm experiencing uh, a little bit of a uh, road rage coming up because this guy's driving like an idiot weaving in and out of traffic. And I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it does. Here it is. Kathleen, if she was in the car with me right now, she'd be like, does that make you feel better? I'm like, well, yeah, it kind of does. Uh, I don't typically go this route when I'm going to auction. I am, uh, I usually go up north another mile line and head over and then back, back south. But just because of traffic, but we will, uh, today I had to do a post office run. Got most of the shipments ready for, for the business, for the auction house. I got most of those out. I do have a few more left to do. I also have, uh, I didn't do my eBay stuff today. I'm going to do those first thing in the morning, get those out. Uh, I've got seven packages going up on eBay. I've got six magazines and a Nike duffel bag. Duffel bag. The magazines, I mean, just small potatoes. Uh, I've just been really banking on them, selling them in bulk. That's how I would make my money. I, it's something I wouldn't recommend recommend doing just because, I mean, they're easy to ship. That's the one thing that it's got going for it. But it, it takes up a lot of inventory space. When you're, when you max out, right now I've got 250 listings a month that I can do. And I maxed out, I think I have five left. And that's because I, I said, you know, I, I have to save some of those for uh, higher profit margin items. I didn't want to sit there and, you know, nickel and dime myself by filling up my inventory or the, my listings uh, with something I'm only going to make $2 profit on. So that's, that, that's eBay. Uh, right now we have three accounts. Well, I, I have two. I have the business one, my personal one. And um, 
they're they're doing pretty good. I mean, they're not near where we want to be, but we're we're starting to focus a little bit more on the eBay side, just to blend the two. Like I mentioned before, auctioning, you know, we're still in that growth period where we're not losing money, but I haven't drawn a paycheck from it. I talked to another auctioneer that owns an actual live auction house, and he said they didn't draw paychecks for the first three years. It was over there, across the border. Um, I think I can't go three years without drawing a paycheck. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're supplementing. I'm doing. I have a bunch of furniture. I keep mentioning. I have furniture. I'm gonna put that on Facebook and um, continue building up the eBay store. The thing about furniture. I mean, a lot of people will talk about how difficult it is to move stuff on Facebook. I am. I pretty much go into it with the mindset. I'm in the business to move items. I can send. Uh, the summer or last fall I sold a Bentwood chair with ottoman and it was valued anywhere between six and eight hundred dollars if I wanted to sit on it. I knew what I had in it. I turned around flipped it for two fifty and believe me it was at least let me it was probably four times profit. Uh, or four times was the selling price. Try not to fall asleep on you. Uh, so that's the thing. I, know, I tell people that all the time because I, I have people come in the store and they're like, I, I can't sell anything on Facebook. I said, Well, um, forget about what you think something's worth and sell it at a profit margin that you're comfortable with and get it out. I mean, if you, especially some of this biggest furniture, if it's taking up a lot of space, you don't have room to move anything else in. It's like get it in, get it out, and replenish your inventory with something else. And just continue that mindset, and um, that's how you're going to make your money. You know, you can sit there, well, this chair is worth $600, but it ain't worth nothing if it's sitting in your garage. So, <laughs> sorry about all the yawning. So, sounds like I need to give me some uh, coffee when I get there. The weather today is overcast. It has been raining quite a bit. And I, as you just saw in one of the last videos, I bring my big tarp sitting right here in the seat behind me. This starts rain on me. I fill the truck up, lay the tarp out, fill the truck up, and fold it up like a burrito. It'll sleep dry all night long. I used to unload on Friday nights, but my landlord never installed lights out back. Well, he kind of did, but I hate, I hate unloading in the dark. Maybe if I turn the heat down a little bit, it wouldn't put me to sleep. Anyway, yeah, it was a, it was a late night last night. Early morning this morning, I don't know why I got up at around 4.30, 4 to 5. And for me, that's early. And uh, I was going to season some pans, but I never got around to it. I still have a, like a Dutch oven a kettle that I need to season. And I think two 10 and a half inch skillets, I think that's enough. shop I have three lamps. Well Kathleen thought about using those at the house. We live in an older house and our living room it really has no lights whatsoever. So we were there you know, just getting grabbing those floor lamps she thought about. They're just black you know standard floor lamp and well I finally asked her, do you want those lamps? They're still sitting at the front of the store. And she went up and looked at it and she's like no I said probably oh, should have known already have a garage. Then 
I didn't say it, and I just thought it. I have blows, I have appendix, uh, sewing machine, uh, sewing machine, appendix, uh, ironer. I chair, do, uh, dining room chairs, or if you want to call them that, that I had. I had sold to someone down in southern Idaho. It's about six to eight hour drive, depending on where in Idaho you're going. And, uh, like, I didn't realize you were in northern Idaho, in Coeur d'Alene. I, I, I'll go and pay you for it, but I don't want to you can do whatever you want to with it. I can't drive up there and get them, and I'm not going to pay to have them shipped. So I still have those chairs. Uh, I have to get those back up on auction. And then all that will move back closer to the register. So I can move furniture in. Anyway, that's a plan for the weekend. The auction starts in five minutes. Um, what else? Signs are doing good at auction. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that before. We bought a bunch of signs. Had to buy them in bulk. Just so that we could uh, get a price down. And uh, so I've been running about 20 of them a week. This will be the third week. Third week. This will be the third week that we run those. There's a lot of cool stuff in, in the auction. You guys will have to check out the catalog, bidmortowit.com. Hit the button that says current catalog, and that should take you to the catalog. Um, if you ever you have any questions, I don't have a business phone with me now, but um, typically we'll be able to answer most of your questions over the phone. Or the better way is look at it, look us up on Facebook. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Outside of my regular one, we brought it when we're doing page. I've been sharing primarily to our bit more to win auctions Instagram page uh, check out some of the pottery we have this week it's got a hefty reserve but I think it's worth every bit of it if you're into uh, pottery art um, but yeah well I'm going to let y'all go. I'm almost to the box. I'm only about five minutes away. And, uh, get off here so I don't think you to sleep with all my yawning. Anyway, it was, uh, nice chatting. We'll catch y'all next time. Well, it is the day after the auction. And my truck's full. I spent... $274 and I filled the back of my truck so let's see if I can some okay stuff some stuff I might have to test I don't like testing anything if I can test it fairly quickly I will but um, I don't have the facilities to test I need to I need to come up with a Okay, yes folks, buckle up for safety. I'm one of those guys. Um, it's like, you get a receiver. I think I have an Onkyo receiver in the back. I need components to connect to it. I need the speakers to connect to it. It's just a lot of work and effort. And, um, I, you know, sometimes you just, we have a return policy, so, I mean, we offer returns if, if electronics don't work, or if we, uh, if the item's not as described, if we, if we miss something in a, in a listing, we do want 100% customer satisfaction, so a lot of stuff I don't test. I'm selling through auction. Most of our buyers are local. Um, and that wind is howling today. In the cold, in the heat. I'm easily sidetracked. But 
I got more housewares, a lot of hard goods. Got some, you know, costume jewelry, some comics. I didn't go crazy on comics. I think I got two or three bundles uh, of the Flash. I, got a, I bought a tote. Sometimes I buy stuff at the auction just so I can make my life easier hauling stuff home. Plastic containers. Uh, I got some, I, I got an old movie poster. It's kind of cool. We'll go through it here in just a few minutes. I'm on my way up to the shop. And I thought I'd just sit here and ramble until we get there. I'm going to see if I can get this mount somewhere where the wind's not going to uh, affect things and yeah so stay tuned Well, here I am looking a little bit frazzled. I just took my hat off. It's a little chilly out here in North Idaho today. Um, I've been going back and forth the last couple of do like last couple of days trying to figure out how the heck am I going to do a haul this past weekend, including today. So, f starting Friday night when I went to auction, hit sales Saturday, and then um, went and picked up some stuff that we saw yesterday. I had to take the box truck over and grab it. I don't have images over there. I got a large, it probably, it probably weighed about a ton. Um, my link safe from, I believe it was made in Toledo, Ohio. I do need to get that thing, the combination fixed or changed. It is open. So I think that's a plus. Uh, we'll see how much that costs to get going. And I'm hoping I can get about 1500 to 2000 for it. We'll see if I'm overstretching my estimate. It is, um, it's old and it's uh, large and um, I paid $500 for it. We also went and picked up a nice uh, handmade gun cabinet. It uh, holds 12 guns, 12 rifles, and then a locking drawers underneath for ammunition and handguns. That we paid two hundred dollars for so right there we had seven hundred dollars in purchases and then we're gonna say roughly about five hundred more between sales and uh, auction I spent two hundred and seventy I believe at auction and um, I guess it was probably it was either eighty or hundred and twenty I don't know if Kathleen uh, put my purchases in at the one sale we went to so um, I'm just going to go through. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be ugly, uh, but hopefully you guys will see some of the value. And I'll try to point out some of the key things that we purchased that um, will more than likely, well, the safe itself, I sell it for what I think it's going to pay for everything and put us in the profit and everything else is going to be bread and butter. Um, but even without the safe, I believe we're going to do pretty good. So let's um, flip over and I'll show you my mess. Believe it or not, we did have this area cleaned out before, pretty much cleaned out. And I emptied these shelves, so we started stacking stuff back on it. I'm just going through, there's some sprinklers. Keep in mind that when we're sourcing, we're sourcing two different ways. One's going to be items that we can sell locally. 
Um, the other one is going to be stuff that's going to go on eBay. So a lot of this stuff, I mean, we have tools. As I fling stuff around. We have customers that specifically look for copper. That's a nice heavy duty um, hammered copper piece. I do not see any markings on it whatsoever. There's a little, uh, little plow box back there. Toolbox. The toolbox is full. Um, there's a piece of artwork inside there. I'm doing one-handed, so I won't be able to pull that out. Uh, these little old toolboxes, they typically do well here locally. And believe it or not, there is money to be made on eBay with these. And you can see it's full of um, full of stuff. There's an old uh, tin key adding machine. I'm going to go down here. There's a little old lunchbox. You know, I was going to check. It does not have the thermos in it, but I have thermoses. I might just throw one in there. Brand new fry basket. Your grill. Um, Shooter's Bible. That particular model is not a super highly sought after one. Older than that, though, you can get up to $60, $70 a book. So, um, I've had one that sold even more than that. Here's a cool little folding um, basket handcrafted piece you're going to see a running theme of odd items that we pick up there's a bunch of tools we'll lot all that together a little shell I don't even know what else she's got down there let's see if I can it's just a, a, a mess of stuff. we're going to go through e each and every box and um, pick out the items Granted, some of this stuff will probably go on back straight to donation or on our dollar garage sale shelf. This little box is picked up. Some uh, chipmunks, some gardening stuff, paper. There's an old American family scale. Um, there's a pocket screwdriver. Like, again, that'll be lauded up with more tools similar. Smoke alarm still in the box. We're gonna move on. We got Halloween decor, glowing fiber optic pumpkin. Fiber optic is pretty cool. Love this color of this lawn chair, still in the package, never used. Um, some adding machine rolls, along with there's a tea kettle down there. Um, I don't typically do steins, but there's a little stein in there. Again, something new in box. So that typically does pretty well in our connoisseur. Look at that. It originally retailed for $29.95 and ended up selling for $19.99. Sonic Jewelry Cleaner. Uh, we, we just listed a bunch of these bears we're trying out. Those are Home Co. bears. I think this pattern is going to do really well in this decanter. Again, we I don't typically do decanters, but it really just depends on color patterns. These little table stands, a spreader. Let's see, check this out. Little plastic shelf, more tools. Um, here's another box of just miscellaneous stuff, little copper tea kettles. That one is actually marked. I cannot read the marking though. Camel and giraffe. There's a cookie jar in there. I do actually have the lid to that cookie jar. Um, looks like maybe some sort of dye that somebody had made. Staples will throw that in, in a um, office lot. We're going to move over here. Some prints. These all came from auction i think i gave a dollar a piece for these still new wrapped in the shrink wrapped um oh and the bell's air the cajun movie poster wow let's see i think i got all these tools those those may have been from last week's haul again i'm going to try to keep things separate here's an old thermos um cooler the best thing about this is the color and it's fairly clean. We'll wipe that down. And that's on eBay. I'm saying probably about $25, $30 for that cooler. We're going to move over. This is another great piece. Again, just because of the cooler, the color, I mean, 
We'll have to wipe this down. It's an old Kmart fan. That thing is heavy duty. It does need some cleaning. Let's see what we got here. That's just an empty box. More prints. And my wife's calling, so I'll be right back. Going through these prints. Um, this one I think is really cool. Anything railroad related does pretty well. It's kind of an inset print there. That's totally vintage. Look at the, the frame on the back of it. Uh, another a painting. I love that. The Majestic Elk. Um, I remember doing like puzzles like that as well. Um, some old posters. This is all I need to know. I learned from my cat. A little cow print. Some more prints. The animal alphabet. Or A is for dogs and A, A cats. A, B, C, I guess it's... Um, an old calendar. That's just a um, cork board. So this is all picked up from a state sale. Let's see. Those racks there, a state sale. I bought all these totes and comics. This is all part of the auction. I, I, I think I said I paid two seventy four for all my auction stuff. And there's a whole slew of costume jewelry down there as well. Um, and a big old knife. So, a little off brand. No, no name brand there. Um, Kathleen picked up this browning agent. It's for cooking. Clean those bottles up, Miss Stewart. Check those out on online. I don't think it's something you're going to find very often on the fly. Oh, Kathleen did pick up this thing right here. Well, there's John Wayne. Um, I don't do much. Avon especially, but it, hey, it's the Duke. This thing is missing a piece. She didn't realize it when she bought it. The rabbit ears actually go with the TV. Oh, there's some bowls. We'll lot all of our pie, all of our cor uh, corral up. Uh, oh, this is a cool piece. This does look authentic. And... I didn't look at the date down at the bottom. Um, 1962. So it does look pretty authentic just looking at the... But it's an old movie poster. Pick that up. There was a little boo-boo on the frame. This one probably won't get anything. A blast of joy. Um, oh, Chris O'Dowd, the Sapphires, and Salvador, James Wood, and Jim Belushi. It's funny that James Wood got top billing. I mean, I have nothing to say about James Wood, but Belushi was pretty um, popular too. This is all consignment stuff, as you can see over here. Consignment. Oh, Kathleen bought three totes of pigs. We'll go through all that, figure out ones that are worth selling, the ones that are not. It's just completely packed full of piggy banks and little figurines and I think she gave ten dollars for the whole collection um, we're gonna move right over here I gave I went to one sale and he it was called a no tag sale so he was moving back east and just want to get rid of stuff so I picked up this table and I actually have a little bistro table over there we'll get to in a minute I picked up that this um, incline bench or table the two um, blue air air filters and this tackle box which is just jam-packed of tackle i gave a hundred dollars for all of that again that was the tackle box the bistro table and chairs which is right here there's a bistro table oh I, or the chairs and i have a table underneath all that burlap that was a hundred dollar purchase um, at the one estate sale. Picked up all these old um, pickaxes and rakes, miscellaneous tools. There's just a box there, an old spreader, um, a tote full of gloves. Um, there's a hat in there I picked up just because Strategic Air Command, I don't believe, is there anymore. There's a glass table round some milk crates there's in here there's like miscellaneous handles 
There's probably five or six of these grinding wheels. That goes to the incline table. Five or six of these grinding wheels, a couple of bottle jacks. Um, I gave minuscule amounts for all this. Some of this stuff, like I said, it's going to go um, straight to donation or um, it'll be bundled up for our auction. There's an old Honda lawnmower bag, TV tray, two of these old toolboxes. The one right there is a Craftsman and this one's a Simonson. Old Jerry can. This thing is in rough condition, but I picked it up anyway. Um, a whole bunch of burlap. Oh, and this is just to kind of give you an idea. I think easily about two hundred dollars for the incline table, maybe forty or fifty for the entire um, cast iron set. That um, Blue Air four hundred three. I think I can probably get to close to two hundred dollars for that, and then the um, two hundred three. I think I can get about a hundred, hundred and twenty. So. Those two machines there would pay for the hundred dollars I spent at that sale. Um, at the state sale that we bought a whole slew of stuff, I saw these sitting on a shelf. Believe it or not, you know most people go to the sale; they're not going to pick up an old refrigerator tray. Think outside the box and think that somebody's restoring these old refrigerators, and these are in great condition. There's a little bit of dent there, but overall, this one here, I think it's going to be about sixty or seventy dollar piece. And this one here that's unmarked is probably about $30 or $40 piece resale. So those will go on eBay. Uh, moving on, this is going to get a little bit harder. This is all auction stuff. I, uh, I, in the box down below, I think there's a lot of tea kettles. and Well, let's see if we can get back, back in there. I did pick up this um, heater, pots and pans, um, a, a monitor picture frames some clogs there's a red lantern uh, a little cat metal lawn decor I guess you could say uh, there's a DVD player some stoneware there's a coca-cola umbrella I don't do well with coke but we'll give it a shot um, there's an old camp heater so a lot of tea, tea kettles and stoneware and uh, off-brand Mintech um, DVD player, John Deere uh, Model B Express. The box is in rough condition. I will be going through to see if everything is there. That's a good piece there if it's complete and it works. Inside this box, more tea kettles, some more electronics, um, a lantern, a box. Let's see, there's an Onkyo receiver down at the bottom. This I picked up at a yard sale. These um, three flying ducks. I like anything from like the 70s. Some die cast cars, some slings and harnesses and stuff for hunting. There's some web belts. There's the Onkyo receiver, Pioneer um, tuner. And th this stuff, of course, has not been checked to see if it works. This is some sort of um, compression tester, engine compression tester. It looks like an off-brand Boss. I guess I remember Boss. Um, Alpine, just some old stereos. I think that one's a Kenwood. So those, I don't know what I'll get out of those. But hey, I picked them up anyway. And the last thing I have, I believe, we might maneuver around the burlap. Here's this cool little bear hanging up. It was made in Mexico, um, but I thought it was cool. Like I said, all, oh, and then we purchased this old Sears safe as well. This will probably go up in auction. Um, the other one's going to go on eBay and local market for um, pickup local local pickup and I think man I think that's it so as you can see a lot of stuff we'll cycle through all that all this this week process it just my wife and I Kathleen I mean we're gonna be running ragged oh there is this TV check this out I love old electronics but um, 
I think that was it. I don't see anything. Okay, I think we covered it. But um, we got a lot of work um, ahead of us. Um, but we'll get her done. Like, it's always a mess in here. I mean, I, I can't keep apologizing because that's our business. We are junk movers. Oh, Kathleen did get some glass in here. Um, let's see if I can switch over and just show you. Some of it not overly worth a, a million, but we just like this. Um, I'm going to turn the lights off here in a minute. We just like this old uh, Vaseline glass. And as you can see, uh, it does glow. That's the difference between Vaseline glass and regular glass. Is the glow that it puts off under um, a black light. Love the picture. That's the first picture I've come across. Sorry, it wasn't a very detailed video of our haul, but um, at least gives you a chance to see exactly what we're doing and um, how we can afford to sell a lot of things that you know fairly cheap at our auction that has value. Is because when you buy in bulk, there's more work involved, but you can. Um, you can get things for a lot cheaper. Uh, so, you know, part of a strategy, I do have some resellers that do online as well as local area sales. And they do similar, the same thing, the stuff that they just don't want to mess with because they get so much as well. They um, bring here on consignment. So it might be something you kind of look into to see if it's worth your time to find a local auction house and bring your items that you're not wanting to move or if you get overloaded just to get some of that investment back. I will get, um, I will be in the profit with the things that I put online and the rest, like I said, is, is good, decent stuff that will help supplement our catalog, but uh, make us a few bucks as well. Anyway, again, uh, massive stuff. Uh, sorry, I couldn't go through all of it, but hope you saw some things of value that, um, maybe will open your eyes just at least pull up some comps when you're out looking and, um, like those refrigerator drawers, uh, don't don't look past things like that you know that was i think third day of the estate sale that i picked those up and easily i, I would say easily a hundred dollars right there in sales in those two items anyway that's it for today i gotta get to work i don't have one thing listed on our catalog and today is monday see you later <laughs>